Have you recently purchased land in the city of Vancouver to design and build your new custom home? Or maybe you already own land and now you're starting the process of designing and building your dream home. Are you wondering what to do next? In this video, I'm going to be sharing the next four things that you need to do to start the custom home design and build process in the city of Vancouver. Hey everyone, welcome to Dream Homes with Kathy. I'm Kathy Yoon, an architectural technologist, custom home designer, and founder of Phase One Design. Our team and I have helped over 600 homeowners design their custom homes. This channel is dedicated to sharing our knowledge with you. If you like our content, it'd be great if you could show us some love and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to download our free custom home planning guide. You can download it in the link below. For those looking to start the design process and interested in working with our team, you can book an initial consultation in the link below. All right, let's dive in. So once you have your land in Vancouver, here are the next four things that you need to do to start the custom home design and build process. Number one, get a land survey of your property. I always highly recommend our clients to start the process of getting a survey right away. This is a critical document to the process, so the earlier that you have one, the better. It usually takes a few weeks to get one, depending on the survey company. What's a land survey? Let's take a look at an example. In the context of designing and building a new custom home, a survey is a technical document which shows a variety of legal property information. This includes property lines, geodetic grade points, which indicate the topography of your property, so essentially how flat or how sloped your lot is, the location and size of trees, adjacent streets, sidewalks, lanes, existing buildings, and much, much more information. So why do you need a survey? City of Vancouver requires this for all new home building permits. More importantly, you'll need a survey to start the custom home design process. A lot of the technical information is required for someone like me, a custom home designer, to perform many of our technical bylaw calculations to accurately tell you how large you can build your home, where the city of Vancouver will allow you to place your home on your property, and a long list of other items. As a custom home designer, we can make some educated assumptions before we receive the survey, but a survey is completely mandatory prior to starting the full home design process, and so that we are working with data that is 100% accurate. How do you get a land survey? Well, you can simply just Google Vancouver land surveyors and order a survey for your property, or our team works with reputable survey firms throughout the Lower Mainland. If you want me to pass along some of these names, just feel free to shoot me a message, or please ask for it down in the comments below and we will respond. The next thing you need to do to start the custom home design and build process is get an arborist report. This is a mandatory document City of Vancouver requires during the permit stage of building a new home. It's also really good to know that this report may affect your design and possibly your build cost. So the sooner you get one, the better. So you know what it is that you're working with. What's an arborist report? An arborist report is a detailed report which has to be prepared by a certified arborist. It gives detailed information for trees that are on your property and around your property. So for example, your neighbor's trees and also city boulevard trees. The report includes information like tree species, their size, location, health condition, and the arborist recommendation for how to retain trees and a lot more. Why do you need an arborist report? The city of Vancouver has a mandate to protect trees during development. Yes, this includes that new home you're planning to build. Depending on the location of trees, this may affect the size and placement of your new home, your new laneway home, or your new garage. In some cases, the city may actually require you to design any new buildings around existing trees and with a goal of retaining and protecting them. So this is why it is so important to have this document as soon as possible. How do you get an arborist report? So again, you can just simply Google Vancouver Arborists and order an arborist report for your property. Or our team can share the name of some arborists that we work with. Feel free to reach out or comment below. 
The next thing that you need to do to start the custom home design and build process is establish a budget range. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. This part is probably one of the hardest parts of the initial process. Usually, when I advise homeowners to do this, the response is always, well, I'm not really sure how to get my initial budget range. Okay, that is totally a fair comment, but don't worry, I'm going to help you with this. But whatever you do, do not skip this step. This step is so important that I've made a whole separate video about it and linked it down below in the description. So how do you get a budget range? Let me share some high level tips here. And again, for more detailed information, check out my other video because this is a very large topic. So the first thing you should do to get an initial budget range is to gather photos of what you want in your new custom home. When you start having budget conversations, these photos are really extremely valuable to communicate your expectations for your new home. Two of my absolute favorite places to get inspiration photos are Instagram and Pinterest. There is literally an endless source of photos on both platforms. Our team posts images almost on a daily basis, so if you want, as a starting point, you can follow us on Instagram, at phase1design, and on Pinterest, phase1designpins. Another great tip for getting your initial budget range is to talk to the right experts. After getting your land, there will be two main parties that you deal with, your custom home designer and your custom home builder. The purpose of talking to a custom home designer and a home builder is to get a realistic low high budget range for your project. In these early stages, just remember it is impossible to have one set number for your budget. There simply isn't enough information to accurately give a more detailed budget until you go through at least the very beginning stages of the home design process. The goal at this stage is to get a budget range that is realistic and to make sure that you're comfortable with both the low end and the high end of this budget before proceeding into design. A custom home builder is obviously great to talk to because they can share their experiences on recent build costs and help establish your budget range. But why talk to a custom home designer? A custom home designer will be able to help you narrow down your budget in a few different ways. So first, confirming what you can build on your property from a bylaw standpoint. What you build will obviously affect your budget. So for example, a custom home designer should be able to confirm the maximum square footage you can build, whether you can build a suite, whether you can build a laneway home, and find out any other restrictions that city bylaws will have on your building. Secondly, a custom home designer will be able to confirm that your wish list and your budget are aligned and adjusting anything on your wish list and budget if necessary. So for example, if your wish list doesn't fit inside the square footage that City of Vancouver allows you to build, then there are often creative design solutions that your designer can bring to the table for you. Lastly, as a custom home designer, we work with a lot of different home builders and are exposed to a lot of data regarding build costs, so we can definitely share this information with you in these initial budget conversations. Okay, so here's one last tip. Make sure you're talking to designers and home builders who have experience specifically in the city of Vancouver. In the lower mainland, every single municipality has different zoning and building regulations. So for example, the minimum standards of how you would build an exterior wall in the city of Vancouver versus another municipality in the Lower Mainland can be completely different, which obviously can affect your build costs. So just make sure you're speaking with custom home designers and home builders that have experience specific to the city of Vancouver. Okay, so there you have it. The first four things that you need to do in the city of Vancouver to start the custom home design and building process. Don't forget to download our custom home planning guide. I've linked it down below. If you need help with any of this part of the custom home building and design process or are interested in working with my team and I for your custom home project, you can reach out to us at hellophase1design.ca. I've linked it below. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get first access to all our new videos. I'm Kathy Ewan with Phase 1 Design. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.